Any surface that you happen to create with Civil 3D or Civil Side Design can be modified with a useful tool found underneath the Model Builder pull-down, and that's called Modify Surface. In here, we are able to maybe simplify or extend and trim surfaces within the project. Now, this can be quite useful. Maybe, for example, you've been provided with a survey or surface information, and it doesn't quite cover the area that you're after. Maybe you've got up to a boundary. You need maybe an extra uh, few feet or so. Well, what we can do with this particular tool is take a surface, and we're going to choose the pasted surface we created earlier. We will uncheck Simplify. So basically, Simplify will let us go and weed out points within the surface if it's, in, if it's very, very detailed. We're going to use the Extend Trim tool. So at the moment, we are proposing to extend the surface by a value of 10. Now, if we put a minus value, the software will actually go ahead and reduce the surface by a value of 10, which can be quite useful. But in this example, we'll maybe type in, uh, say, 50. What we can do is choose to modify the surface that we've selected. If not, the software will actually create a new one for us with a prefix called MOD. So we've got the original if we need it, and we're basically taking a copy and modifying it, which is what we're going to do now. So click on Build Update Surface and the software will go ahead and now generate for us a brand new surface. It's giving you point information and providing you with the new name. And you can see there how the software has actually extended the surface information out, interpolating the last known point for us. This can be useful. Um, in this scenario, probably we wouldn't need it, but this can be a very useful tool. If we click on Close, go to Surface Manager, in Surface Manager, you'll now see a surface called MOD for Modified, PST for Pasted Surface, Combined Design Existing. Now, we don't want that surface in the drawing anymore, so we're simply going to delete it using the Delete tool. And that's now removed the surface from the project.